Hey gorgeous soul, welcome to your monthly October astrology. This month, the film's a little bit different. I'm taking you on a journey through the magical and surreal Faroe Islands and uh, you can share the wonder of the Faroe Islands while we talk about the wonder of October. It's passionate, it's full of intrigue and it's all about balance and power. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey, fabulous, courageous Leo. How are you doing? This month is all about you discovering security and what makes you feel secure. Cozying up, cutching in, allowing yourself to feel and enjoy what it is that makes you cozy and the people around you that you love and that you trust. And, and you know, those are going to be your beacons of positivity for the whole of this month. Pluto is going direct if you've had hassle around work or any grief. Now is the time for that to shift and change. You have the opportunity to really get the rewards for the work. You may have felt that you haven't been rewarded. You may have been dealing with somebody that was critical. And now that energy is shifting, thank goodness. Mercury is going into your home and family zone, your security zone. And you should bump into and have conversations with people that feel like family. You know, it doesn't have to be a blood relation. You're around your squad, the people that make you feel good. And you're also talking about things connected to your home and family. You may be talking about moving or shaking things up around your home. Mars is shifting signs and really filling you with ideas. And you, you, are, you have such an energy around ideas. There may be a conversation you have, a really passionate conversation you have, that leads to something brilliant. Having said, and you're really confident about expressing your ideas as well, um, the only downside is you may um, also be supremely argumentative this month because Mars is Mars. Mars is the planet of passion and war. Um, And also make sure that you're not just in a relationship where you're texting or kind of communicating but not seeing each other because Mars is the planet of passion and, you know, it's in the ideas zone rather than the actual meet-up zone. Venus, the planet of love, is going into your cosy home and family zone, encouraging you to have really delicious nights in, doing all the things that you like with those that you feel safe with. We have Venus opposing Uranus. There's some surprise coming to you around um, your work, or it could even be your home connected to your work, but whatever it is, it's, it's interesting. And I think you're one of the few signs that doesn't mind a surprise. In fact, you quite like it. Uh, perhaps somebody turns up at your door, <coughs> excuse me, that you work with. Or perhaps someone at work invite, invites you to their home. We also have the full moon in Aries. Yeah, baby. Fellow fire sign. Aries is filling you with passion and a desire for adventure. <coughs> excuse me, sorry. You are, have the this ability to explore and go wild this month. But it's sort of, it's in the middle of the month where you have that peak. But it's positive because the sun is sextile Jupiter, the lord of good fortune. So you're talking about something and you end up doing it and it expands you and it thrills you and it makes you feel fabulous mid-month. Mercury is also trying Neptune. Look out, if you feel sort of, you have a psychic feeling about your home or someone in your family, you have a sense of something, you have an impulse or a hunch, follow that through. Um, because you've got this sort of super knowing at the moment. The sun and the new moon in Scorpio, which is your fourth house, are again bringing about a confidence about your home, but also a desire to change things. Whatever you do this month, make sure that you're focusing on that. Like, am I living in the right place? How can I change it? Who do I consider my kin? And who, who can I mix with that makes me feel great? You're going to have a cosy, fabulous time. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon.